Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Kitch. I'm reporting live from my backyard. Not my backyard, it's my front yard. I can literally look out here. But anyways, I'm reporting live from this nice tree in the yard and it just fits perfectly in today's topic of discussion. Today I'm going to show and tell you guys how you can be more sustainable and how to be more eco-friendly and all those other cool words that describes this topic for today. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video, I hope you're going to find it interesting and I hope you guys are going to learn something because that's what I want to do now, I want to put out content, you know, like useful content that you guys can actually learn from and a way you use in your life and just trip on. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what sustainability is, go Google, a way of shame, like... <laughs> So study yourself that's the best idea i'm not gonna tell you guys so oh wait if i sound a bit out of breath or like i'm struggling to speak like i'm speaking too fast that's because i'm sick and i'm bald that means i'm getting old now i'm joking stay tuned to the end of the video and then i'll tell you guys why i'm bald or you know like the next video i'll do like a whole full video on like this whole bald phase of mine but oh yeah, enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, like the videos, share the videos, comment down below, you like do all those things. That is the first step into sustainability, you know? And that's how you can just be a better human being to the environment by subscribing to Kitch and do all the cool things to Kitch. So oh yeah, thank you. Okay, so now I'm in my backyard. You see, this is where I get all my oxygen from. If you guys don't have a tree in your yard, that is alarming because where do you get your oxygen from? Where do you get your oxygen from? Okay, so we're gonna start off with our way, tip number one basically, and that is to plant. If you guys do not have plants in your house, that is alarming because where do you get your oxygen from? That's mad weird because plants give us oxygen and we give them decreasing your carbon footprint I would say you know just like not emitting so much carbon dioxide into the environment I think so I'm not sure but well yeah that way I'm going to tell you guys what are the most easiest things to plant from my experience you know today is going to be show and tell you know practice what you preach don't just preach okay welcome everybody this is my butter my button up um, station over here yo it's I, I began with mad simple this is just like a normal delivery box and I decided to plant things in it and this is butternut sustainability 101 I took the butternut seeds and then just threw them in the soil and then I made this or oh, it made it itself I didn't make it it's God's creation so shout out to ya we are on to tip number two and tip number two is to get compost what is compost good for so compost is good for your soil because that's how you make your soil that's how you're gonna design your soil kind of that way because you can't plant in junk soil and my yard is full of junk soil so you have to give your soil nutrition so that it may grow for stanilla and compost is also good because you're taking the waste products like when you're done cutting up an onion and it's the left of the onion you just throw it into the compost anything that is plant based cut it up and then throw it into the compost eggshells literally almost everything except meat things do not throw meat or flesh into your compost if you guys drink filter coffee you can put the coffee things into the compost as well so this is my compost things this is what i put in there this morning yeah as you guys can see there's like some old lemons a lot of old things eggshells onion stuff i must still like break this loose and mix it all together and just get like a good flow of things 
believe it or not that was an old compost heap I must just dig it up and make it wet and it will look nice this is also like a compost thing that I have here um, oh wait, the same thing is that what's happening there is happening here but this is just sealed that is a egg carton these things are biodegradable if you don't know what that means google the word self education is the best education and yeah that is my compost welcome to my garden this is my um oh, my so-called garden i know it doesn't look like much but it's you know it's history in the making so what do we have here this is my one plant um that might just be marijuana or it could be peppermint or whatever could be mint could be marijuana i don't know but i will as you guys can see there i am reusing the plastic and using them as plant holders and i chop up some eggshells and the coffee the coffee for i don't know what you call this coffee but it's coffee and it's like leftover not normal coffee and that coffee it's like filter coffee the leftover things are filter coffee i use for the plants and then as you guys can see there that is a shoe and i planted this plant was actually busy dying and then i decided to like do a project thing i think i'll put a few pictures then you guys can see how it looked before but our way that is the plant in my shoe this is what you guys can do with old shoes you see instead of throwing it away put a plant in it and let the plant grow out of it and then these are a few things that i tried to plant in but it didn't work oh. basically using see these are like the ice cream things that you get at the shop I mean, you go to KFC or whatever, and then I wait. They give you your Sundays in these things. I use it to plant. As you guys can see, the same thing plastic holder, planting them. Sometimes it doesn't grow, but planting is all about faith, you know. Sometimes it doesn't grow, sometimes it grows, and sometimes it takes really long to grow, but you must have faith that it's gonna grow two little bottles that I cut in half to use as plant holders I don't think these things work very well but I will and that is some beetroot that is beginning to grow I don't know where I got this I think it was a juice like a big big juice bottle like a 10 liter or 5 liter I'm not sure this is my plant again here okay yeah same concept oh look at this this thing is dying it's getting i think it's out of season it's not dying that's the problem here because i water this thing a lot this is called a lobster bush and it's in my shoe shoes are kind of biodegradable okay i'm not sure i don't know what i'm saying but oh yeah <laughs> that is another plant and then this is the same this is butternut also that's growing in a half two liter container that is a bad sign of oh wait, it's just a bad sign it shouldn't look like that by the way it's growing so it's fine this is i think kind people but it should yeah it should produce chilies i think a chili is growing wait a chili is growing here a chili is growing here Oh wait, that's a chili. Kind people. A two liter thing in Majigo. See, this one isn't so moldy like that one. This is my beetroot. Five liter ice cream. Recycled. Use, reuse, recycle. My beetroot, it's dying. I don't I don't think it's dying. I think it goes through this phase, but oh, I'm used to the plants looking like it's dying. It's not dying. It's all about faith. So that is my beetroot and away. My garden. This is my coffee things that I was speaking about. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I say coffee. 
see we just reuse and use everything here we're just reusing everything basically that is the coffee i was speaking about that coffee it looks like soil but it's not it just breaks down the soil or whatever and it gives off nitrogen into the soil away so it serves as a natural booster or whatever a natural fertilizer i think i'm not sure okay so that was all the outdoor things that were all the things that you have on the outside of this and you see you guys need to have your plants man like how do you guys breathe in your house you need to have fresh oxygen but now i'm gonna show you guys all the things that is indoor and like all the things that i do inside the house to be more eco friendly and to be more sustainable so i will even show you guys my indoor garden okay welcome to my indoor garden everybody wow. I should have cleaned here, but now nah, we just keep it mad real. Like, I didn't even clean here. Just leave everything as it is. So, we're starting off here with this kind. Remember the plant I showed you guys outside? Green chilies. This is this. And they are growing. They're gonna grow small chilies. It first grows these flowers that hangs over like that, and then it starts growing the chilies. Um, I don't know what I tried to grow in here, but I think it's dead, so I'm gonna use the soil and replant something else. You can cut out your Pringles things and plant in it. Here's a nice plant, these are also chili stuff, kind people, but it's a small one, must still grow up. That is some hello. This belonged to this, and a way. I think it fell. I think it fell yeah, because I was, I was something happened and then it fell and then I had to like replant it. That's why it's in a cup thing in Michigan. That right there is a herb. I think it's. I can't pronounce it, but okay. Here's the name. Oreganum. Same thing happening there. That is that and away the holder once again use reuse recycle that's the number one rule here we have kind paper i think something is wrong with this because it looks very much deformed that's how we move this right here is my pineapple that i've been growing trying to grow and it's still like rooting i'm just waiting for the root system like those roots to stick it those hard roots and then I'm gonna put it in the soil so it can grow um, what I did with this was I basically just pulled off the head of the pineapple and stuck it in water if you're from Cape Town you know that this glass is a beer glass but you and I are not the same my friend using beer I plants are we kind people as well in a small thing you guys can see it's a bottle thing or whatever it's kind people. It's starting to grow people's yeah, I think. Or it could be budding. Or it could be flowers. I mean, not budding. But away, uh, hopefully it's going to start growing. So, away. Uh, that is my indoor garden. I hope you guys learned a lot from my indoor garden. Okay, so, glasses, everybody. You might look at this thing and just be like, away. Uh, you know, done with the Malrose thing and throw it in the bin. But no, do not throw the glass thingy which goes in the bin because you guys can reuse it multiple uses these are actually glasses we drink out of in the house we use them as storage for whatever this is for whatever this is looking at bay leaves those are some raisins and then the coffee i was talking about alternative uses you know you can there was a spider in here i don't know where the spider is Hopefully they didn't escape, but you can use it as like a whole zoo for animals and you can build Bruh. an ecosystem. Look at this dude! Here's another ecosystem for the spider. There you can see the spider. That spider might be dead, but it's okay. Oh, it's really dead. By the way, a lot of uses for these plastic, I mean for these glass holders. That you guys might look at and just be like, oh wait, throw away. But don't throw them away. Use them, reuse them, 
and recycle them and upcycle them. You guys like decorate these, like with whatever colors you wanted. I told you, keep playing, keep it classy. Yes, and before I forget, like I feel like this is the most important one, kind of. Not really, because the planting is the most important. Please start planting at home. But this one is also important transportation. If you guys love wherever you love, and you know, you need to go to wherever you need to go to, try using public transport. Okay? And then get yourselves like skateboards or bikes. Okay, so this is how we cruise and move. This is how I cruise and move. Okay, I don't drive this bike. It's neither my skateboard, it's my brother's. But he barely uses these things. Oh yeah. Transportation guys. Yo, so the last tip would be to get off social media basically, you know? Like stop using that technology device that you are using a lot. For me it's my phone and laptop. But I need the laptop because that's cool stuff. But away the phone, like it's not a necess it's not a necessity. It's not necessary basically. It's like very unnecessary, kind of. But oh yeah, just take a break of social media because we tend to forget about our other hobbies or whatever. Like oh yeah, just take a break of social media and invest your energy in those other hobbies that you might have or those talents that you might have and I will make the most of it. Yo, so Awe, thank you everybody for joining this short show and tell video on how to be more sustainable and how to be more eco-friendly. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed something from this video. And Awe, if you guys want more videos of me using this mic and sounding sick, tell me, comment down below, there was a sick video. Give us more sick videos and I will do more sick videos for you guys. Oh yes, and I know I told you guys I'm going to say why I am bold or why I cut my hair. But stay tuned for the next video and I'll explain to you guys why I did what I did. And like the whole meaning behind it. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for the next video and away. Peace out. Just be like a...